Uh, this essay is about uh, about George Burns and me. Um, George Burns and I were both born on January 20th. Um, and he um, he lived about uh, past his 100th birthday into March 9th um, and then he died. Um, and, and, I, and I wrote in the essay, I don't recall exactly when it dawned on me that George and I were born on the same day of the calendar. But it has been a drive, at least since my early teens, to outlive George Burns, at least to get to March 9th, 2043, which would mean that I would tie George Burns if I could get to March 10th, 2043, I had beaten George Burns. Um, <clears throat> and that is a goal of mine. Comma, but I've done the dance with death a couple times, and um, some of you might think that it's somewhat unrealistic, um, which, <laughs> which doesn't stop me from doing anything. Um, but it, it, it is sobering. So th this essay is, is at one level just a cute essay about some some old guy who wants to get older and outlive somebody that really became really an old guy at one level. But George Burns was more than a person who had longevity and he was more than just merely a comedian. But he was driven to explain what he perceived to be reality. And you listen to some of the things that he said about life and how to live life and, and the meaning of life. And some of those are included in the essay. So at one level, this is just a cute story. At another level, it is a vital story for me personally, but it is is vitally important for you to follow George's advice about how to live life. So I uh, appreciate your time. And, um, you know, I, I, I really want you to, I really want you to grasp what Burns is trying to tell all of us about how to live life. And they'll make all the difference in the world to you. It has for me. Thanks for watching, listening to this video, and reading this essay. Take care.